Hello friends. Welcome back to All and Long. Guys, this is a medical video lecture microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is Gardenella Vaginalis So before starting a discussion on this important bacteria I would request you to subscribe to our channel that's all on the law and please do not forget to share our videos with your friends Guys, currently we have more than 600 medical videos in our channel, okay, and um, guys, we have currently what you call more than 600 medical video lectures in our channel, and uh, please do subscribe and please do not forget to share our videos with your friends. So let me quickly start this. GV. So garden and law vaginalis is really very important bacteria for USMLE step one examination and even for a step 2 CK examination. So what are the features? Tell me the important thing about this Gardenella is uh, whether they are gram positive or gram negative, they are gram negative, remember they are gram negative, are they rods or bacilli? They are rods, okay. They are pleomorphic rods, okay. And the two important points you should remember about this is catalase test, that is catalase negative and the other one is oxidase. negative okay so both the catalase and the oxidase are negative so whenever you think of gardenella vaginalis so you should think of three to four important points one is clue cells it should, it should come in your mind whip test it should come in your mind fishy odor that it should come in your mind and second and the third one or what you call them the fourth one the important point is that in a clinical history of USMLE think that there might be a what you call a, a patient with a vaginal discharge or she might be taking any antibiotics prior, priorly, okay. previously she might be taking any antibiotics so just think of that okay try to look at these important points I will discuss later about that okay and you should be able to differentiate garden love vaginalis infection from trichomonas vaginalis okay so very important so let's start about this so as you know they are gram negative pleomorphic rods catalase and oxidase negative okay so let's start about the what you call the other features of distinguishing features of this garden law are they are gram variable rods and faculty to anaerobes you can remember faculty to anaerobes okay so let's talk about the reservoir is name itself indicates it's a human vagina right human vagina okay so what's the transmission transmission is by endogenous right so this is an important point you should remember whenever there is an increase in the pH of the vagina this uh, um, garden of vaginalis infection flares up and it leads to the infection okay or the disease so what's the pathogenesis the pathogenesis of this is what you call them as I said when the pH of vagina increases I mean it becomes more alkaline then there will be reduction of uh, what you call natural bacteria present in the vagina that is a lactobacillus and hence this vaginalis takes role and causes the disease okay and it also follows menses or antibiotic therapy as I discussed before okay guys so these are the important uh, pathogenesis of this uh, gardenella vaginalis so what are the symptoms of this these symptoms will the patient will have vaginal odor she complains of vaginal odor okay vaginal odor okay or increased discharge that is a thin gray fluid okay remember about the discharge okay so discharge right so what's the diagnosis the diagnosis is really very important guys how would you diagnose that because look at the pH if the pH is more than 4.5 okay more than 4.5 clue cells that is the epithelial cells covered with the bacteria clue cells are nothing but epithelial cells covered with the bacteria on vaginal saline smears okay so this is really very important and the whiff test whiff test whiff test 
with test is nothing but KOH sample to that it gives if you add this KOH sample it gives what you call uh, order that is a fishy order so if anything fishy order if you feel anything fishy about the case scenario then think of it's a garden of lava generalist infection okay guys so this is really very important okay um, whereas a trichomonas vaginalis is of uh, what you call um, it's nothing but it's a parasite right it acts at the pH of 5 to 6 okay uh, at the time of menstruation it favors uh, what you call uh, injection into the uh, vagina okay so try to look about uh, these features about uh, trichomonas vaginalis and in trichomonas vaginalis the discharge will be profuse for the thin creamy green okay there will be excessive pruritis okay increased frequency of micturation will be there and the vagina will be strawberry vagina okay so for that what you need to do and how will you treat it it's the same drug that we use for a uh, garden vaginalis and uh, for uh, what you call uh, for trichomonas vaginalis is nothing but metronidazole okay so thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure this video is really very helpful for you thank you so much take care